Captain says you're needed on deck, sir. Your animals are getting pretty restless. I'll be right up. You can't, Tom. You mustn't. I've got to, dear. But if those chaps break loose, none of us will be safe aboard ship. I won't be gone long. Take good care of them, Colo. Yes, Master. Going to pieces. Have to take to the boats. Get them on deck and get them right now. Fire eyes. Send them fast, sir. It's only a matter of business. I'll be right with you. Say this note's been floating about in the ocean for more than 15 years? Yes, sir. It was picked up by a fishing smack in the North Sea and forwarded to me in New York. And you've come all the way to Africa to find some trace of the Redmonds after so many years? Tom Redmond was my closest friend. His death left his wife and daughter heirs to one of the largest fortunes in America. If either of them is still alive, it's my duty to see they receive it. Even if Mrs. Redmond and her daughter reach shore safely, they can hardly have survived 15 years in the jungle. I'm here to satisfy myself on that point before turning the estate over to someone who has no moral right to it. Then there are other claimants. One, he's determined to get his hands on this fortune and he's not particular how he does it. His name is Bruce Redman. He claims to be a distant relative. I know the jungle like the back of my own hand, Redmond. And I tell you, there's no mysterious white woman living in it. What about the lion goddess of the Basumbo tribe? Oh, that's a fairy tale. It's no fairy tale, Mommy. My number one black boy has seen her with his own eyes. Are you telling the truth, Labatt? Do I have an eye, monsieur? He tell me she's white, and with her she have always two, three lions like the big watchdog. Well, of course anything's possible in Africa. You can take me to her, and she's the girl I'm looking for. A tough trip. And even if Labatt is telling the truth, I couldn't promise to get her away from the tribe. I don't want to get her away. As a matter of fact, I want to make sure that she never leaves Africa. The skipper of the little boat that brought me here said something about a white girl back in the jungle, sort of a goddess among the blacks. Yeah, I know. I've heard something about that. But I always regard it as just another traveler. I'm here to find that out, Mr. Gilbert. Can you recommend someone to head an expedition into the Bisumbo country? Well, the only man I'd care to recommend is up country at the moment. Maybe back in a week, maybe not for a month. Now, you see, he's... Well, that sounds like his safari coming here. No. 
black men wet with a jungle sweat. That's the life for me. Sounds like jungle music. The old fever has got my soul. Where the rain is like hay. Who is he? He's a fellow countryman of yours. Name's Jim Bradley. People around here call him Jungle Jim. Well, well. Take him to my compound. Yes, one of Jim. Well, well. You're in Indochina. What? Got back. Yeah. Hey, you're getting old, Mike. You used to clip it off down to there. You're telling me? <laughs> you're in the last one in. You've got five. All right, I'm a lick. Hey, just a minute, you. Look what your bullet did. You might have killed me. Well, I'm sorry, neighbor. That's mighty careless of me. Here, take this. Yes, and you take this. Can't take a joke, huh? What are you gonna do? This boy is one good friend of mine. Never mind that. We don't want any trouble with Jungle Jim right now. Hi, Mr. Gilbert. Uh, I want you to meet Mr. Tyler. I'm a tenant in New York. How do you do? You're a long way from home, Mr. Tyler. Why? Uh, Mr. Tyler has come on rather an unusual mission. I thought perhaps you might be willing to help him. Glad to do anything I can, of course. Thank you. Hmm. Say, it's cooler inside. I don't like the looks of that. Council introducing Tyler to Jungle Jim. Why? Because Tyler's here looking for the same girl I am. You don't suppose he... See what you can find out about that. You see, I've given my word to head a Smithsonian expedition into the gorilla country. Well, looks like that stops me cold. Not necessarily. I can put you in touch with a man that knows Africa better than I'll ever know. Hey, Redhead. Come here a minute. Stop in the concert on your way home. Tyler, I want you to meet a real pal, Red Hallahan. Glad to know any friend of yours, Jim. Oh, double. Tyler, sit down. Tyler has a proposition that I think will interest you, Red. Glad to listen. What'd you find out? Tyler trying to get Jungle Jim to take him to the Bazuma country? Oui. Well, Jungle Jim is turning down. But? Red Hallahan is telling Monsieur Tyler he will go with him to find the girl. When do they start? Tonight. Tonight? Don't worry. They won't start tonight, but we will.
about Tyler? Got him, too. Jim, how do you suppose those cats got loose? I don't know. Mike, help me get Red out of here. Wait a minute. Leary. Mike, look. No cat's claw ever did that. That's a knife wound. Red's been murdered. The earring belongs to the rat that killed it. Warner! Warner! Look! Somebody open cage! Tyler's papers. And some of them are missing. How do you know? Tyler showed them to me. And he also showed me a photograph of Ms. Redmond and her daughter. And the captain's note telling the exact location where that ship was wrecked. So that's why he and Red were knifed, huh? Tyler told me that somebody else was after that fortune. Whoever killed Red, will try and find that girl with those papers. Right on their trail. You mean we'll be right on? 